China's parliament getting ready for an orderly opening of its annual meeting. And then we get this knife attack over the weekend, John. Surely signs of political risk really mounting. Yes, Sarah. Investors haven't really priced much political risk into China. Although ethnic tensions, particularly in the west of China, have been there for, for many years, the attacks over the weekend were a shock because people are used throughout the prosecution of Bo Lai, throughout various uh, border disputes, people have basically assumed that China's political system, although quirky, is relatively stable. So the suggestion that we might see an increase in violent attacks outside of the most volatile western regions might get investors slightly worried. So we have investors potentially slightly worried about this. We also have the sliding yuan. So we've got political risk and market volatility at the same time. Now, volatility comes in many kinds, of course, though. So you have financial volatility, which we've seen much more of in the past two weeks, as you say, as the yuan has started to slide. So if you add in political volatility, then that makes asset prices very wobbly. They can swing around as investors question how much the underlying value of these things, whether it's real estate or the currency, have changed. So the question is whether the authorities are prepared to tolerate two kinds of volatility at one time. Is this potentially an inflection point in terms of investing in China? We have these political worries, we have volatility in the yuan, and perhaps we have signs of debt rising beyond the levels that people are comfortable with. Yeah, there are certainly more and more things to worry about, and they're all coming at a very fragile time where we've seen risk of capital outflows uh, and the yuan weakening, probably uh, at the central bank's behest. But the risk is, of course, that investors take fright and start trying to pull out capital in earnest. Now, China's parliament meets this week, and we expect to see lots of strong statements about reform, about improving the financial system, and about improving social order. So how the government handles the next few days and the kind of messages we hear will be crucial in deciding whether capital stays put or heads for the door. A growing list of risk worries for China just as the country's parliament meets.